Hey guys, Mike Pfeiffer. Hey, just going to do a little video here. Uh, I don't know, just because I felt compelled to. We went to a regional uh, NMRA convention in uh, Albuquerque this last weekend. Robin visited her sister for a couple of days, and then um, we went down to the train show on Saturday. It was at the Balloon Fiesta Park in Albuquerque. I thought there was a good turnout, and for the size of building they had, which it wasn't very big, uh, it was packed with stuff. And uh, I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I got here, scored. And I usually don't buy a lot of stuff at train shows because I don't see much I need or want. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I got, and uh, we'll go on with the the rest of the stuff. Okay, I'm going to start out by saying uh, I bought a couple of. Uh, Cato C44-9Ws. Um, they weren't in great shape. In fact, they were in horrible shape. This one here had a CNNW uh, walkway on it. You can see that the walkway's a little broke. I mean, this thing was in really bad shape. Really, somebody really abused it. Um, I painted the lower part of it. Painted the some of the red back on by hand. Um, it's not perfect by any means but the body shell is not what I bought it for uh, by the way uh, the other one was this Southern Pacific which didn't appear to be too bad until you start noticing that the, some of the handrails up here in the front are gone the broken uh, sill plates the uh, cut up microtrains couplers um, but the body's kind of okay but the important thing is both chassis were very good. Now, I did the, the chassis had the uh, original wheel sets on them, the original early wheel sets which looked somewhat like this. And these were pretty worn. So anyways, uh I had some um as you can see here possibly. And uh, let me see if I can get it to focus. You can see in the upper right hand corner of that truck, this truck was melted at one time and came off of one of these two locomotives, which I run all the time at the club, all over the place. So anyway, I, as you can see, these have different wheel sets on them. Uh, I've rescue, rescued a few wheel sets off of some of these trucks that you see laying here. And most of these trucks you see laying here with the exception of a couple were in my parts box simply because they got melted on the layout out at the fairgrounds. So, but I can rescue some axles and some axles I can't. Some side frames I can rescue and some I can't. But anyway, these all came out of my parts box. But I was able to get enough axles and take this one apart, clean everything, to put the new wheel sets on these trucks here. So, what I have here is a fully running C44-9 chassis that has been totally cleaned, lubricated, and back in working order, perfect working order. This one here has been taken apart, cleaned, and lubed, has the old, I believe this one has the old wheels, it has the old wheels on it, but is a real good runner, and I could change the wheels out on this if I come across another body shell or if I decide to fix that Southern Pacific shell. Uh, I don't know what this guy did to him, but nevertheless, here's the best part of the whole thing. I only paid $40 a piece for him, so the price of two, I got less than what you can buy one on eBay for these days. So, I'm going to make what I can out of this Santa Fe, which happens to be, weird enough, 605 and the two that I already owned were 600 and 650 So, it's a number that I don't have. So anyway, I've goofed with this. I'm going to touch it up some more. Then I'm going to weather it up a little bit. I left the air conditioner CNNW. Uh, I don't care. Somebody put a goofy horn on it. Um, I think I have some horns. Um, I can replace that. But anyway, I can weather this up and make it look pretty decent, um, which is what I plan on doing. So this one goes on there. When I get a decoder that works, that decoder doesn't work, by the way. 
here's my used boards and decoders and I pulled it out of there it looked like it was good and turns out it's not good it just goes at one speed so it's obviously got a short or something inside of it okay so enough about the two C44s but I have two running C44 chassis and just a couple of poop bodies but that was a good deal um, I bought this uh, little Sioux line. It's an old uh, KD Microtrains Sioux line uh, wooden uh, reefer, and I will. I like the old wood reefers. I just bought it because I liked it. Uh, this is a real old, and it's a Microtrains car, but I have no idea how old it is. It looks like it could have been one that was in the blister packs. But this is an SP, and I'm pretty sure I don't have this one, so I bought this one as well. It has a label inside. I don't care. I'm going to run it. Um, and I bought this, um, if I can get it in the picture, this SP Composite Gondola. Uh, these were pretty nice uh, gondolas from uh, Inner Mountain. They've got wood, wood inside, the, uh, inside the box. So I bought that. And... I bought this Atherin flat car just because I wanted to. It's a it's a 53 foot GSC. Um, I think I might have kits to put wood decks on there. <clears throat> bought that for the heck of it. Um, you guys have seen on my layout. I think I have about eight or nine, if not ten, of these uh, Texaco silver tankers. I probably have this number. I'm not sure, but even if I do, I'm going to keep it anyway so I can make a, a pretty decent Texaco train. I just like them. And I bought this Rock Island boxcar, and it is a really old KD microtrains car. And I like Rock Island. And I thought it was pretty cool. So, got that. Um... <clears throat> Let's see here. I got this three pack of Swift reefers uh, simply because I have the Microtrains red reefer set. So I'm going to add these to for a little variation in color in my Swift train once I get these out of the box. Probably sacrilege. I, I got a good deal on most of these cars. Most of them were like uh, five to eight bucks a piece. Uh, the three pack. I don't remember what he charged me for. The original price was 47 something and I think it was $30. Not real sure. Now, these cars here, you can't see them inside the box. I should have taken them out. But this guy took these... Um, these are Atherin 53... 52 foot flats. And he mounted these Santa Fe trailers on there. And he went to the trouble to tie them all down and put the bracing on there for the uh, fifth, fifth wheel pin. Um, they look real good out of the box. Uh, I wound up, I think, paying him $20 a piece for them. Um, and I got them because I think they he did a real good job on it, first of all. First, first of all. One's a UP trailer and one's a Missouri Pacific trailer, and both the, both the Santa Fe trailers look pretty cool on there, and especially with all the rigging on them. So I was pretty happy about those. Um, the same guy that had those had this uh, cleaner. I can't remember the name brand of these. You guys help me out. Um, not Centerline, but anyways, uh, this is one of the early ones that... Uh, I don't think that's an angled roller in there, but the roller and everything in the car is in good shape. And I paid $15 for that car. And when I looked over, this car was sitting there, which has a almost like new pad on it. And I said, how much is that one? He said, oh, just take it. <laughs> so I got those two cars, those two cleaning cars for $15. Um, and what else did I get there? I guess that's about it. Um... Spent a few dollars down there. It wasn't too bad. Um, I didn't. I felt like the prices were really good. Uh, met some good people down there. Saw some guys from the uh, a Show Me HO group that I haven't seen in, uh, gee whiz, 30 years probably, 25, 30 years. Um, 
So anyway, I'm going to go through all this. All this stuff had Microtrain's trucks on them already, but some of them have the pins cut off, so I'm going to swap out the swap them out. I've got plenty of trucks here. Um, these locomotives that you see lined up here are out of my box that I take out to the fairgrounds and run. Uh, all these locomotives right here, this is a dummy, Bachman, um, but the rest of these have been serviced, fully serviced. Um, I think you guys have seen in previous videos, let me get one of these. These are, let me see here. Let me see if I can get it to focus, focus. If I can get my hand behind it, possibly. You can see how dirty those pockets are. Uh, I've stressed in other videos that you need to clean those pockets out with some alcohol. I take a uh, dull X-Acto knife and I run it around in there and kind of scrape that stuff out of there, that black gum gunk out of there and clean the end of the axles on all the wheels. That's all been done to all of these here. I have some yellow handrails to touch up on a couple of those. These ones that I weathered down here. Um, and then this one will be added to the fleet once I get done touching this one up and doing the hand painting the yellow on the handrails and so forth. No big deal, but I'll have then I'll have C, uh, three C44 9s. So that was a good haul. Uh, you can see an F45 sitting back here, and I have two SD45s, Kato's, uh, coming from eBay that I paid actually dearly for, but I'm going to repower those F45s. You can't buy any Athern parts for them. I think I went into that in another video. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you guys what my haul was from Albuquerque and and let you know that we had a good time and it was a lot of fun. Sorry I didn't take any pictures up there, but I guess that's the way it goes. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you later. Okay everybody, hope you liked the little short video on uh, my little haul here. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.